This question is very close to my heart. The question is, what are the key qualities or skills that aspiring trainers should focus on developing? Thank you for asking this. So to all the aspiring trainers out there, if you're ready to make a profound impact, allow me to share a few key qualities with you, the skills with you that you should focus on developing. So the one is deep empathy. The heart of effective training is understanding your audience. Always remember that. Develop the ability to truly listen and connect with the people's needs, fears and aspirations. Empathy allows you to tailor your approach and make a real difference in their lives. Another one is lifelong learning. So commit to continuous growth. So, so the best trainers are the perpetual students, always eager to learn new techniques, theories, tools. So stay curious and passionate about expanding your own knowledge. Clear communication is a must. Master the art of conveying complex ideas in a simple, relatable way. Practice empathic listening. Articulate your thoughts clearly. Effective communication builds trust and ensures your message is understood and retained by others. Isn't it magic? Then comes adaptability. So every audience is unique. Cultivate the flexibility to adjust your style and methods to meet the unique needs of each group you train. So being adaptable ensures that you can handle any situation with grace and effectiveness. Another one is confidence. You have to believe in yourself and your message. Your confidence will inspire trust and motivate your audience. Your audience deserves that from you, right? Remember, confidence comes from preparation and experience. So invest your time in mastering your content and delivery. Preparation plus practice, very important. Then comes engagement techniques. So you need to learn how to captivate your audience. Use stories, uh, interactive activities, real life examples to make your sessions dynamic and memorable. So an engaged uh, audience is more likely to absorb and apply what they have learned. Right, so this is a must. Patience and persistence. Growth takes time, remember that. So be patient with yourself, be patient with your learners and be patient with everything around you. Persistence in your efforts will yield the best results and will help you. It will help you to overcome any challenges that you may face. Feedback receptiveness, this is very important. Welcome feedback as a tool for improvement. Sometimes it can be difficult, I understand, but still, okay, please be receptive to it. Actively seek out constructive criticism and use it to refine your skills. So being open to feedback shows humility and a commitment to excellence. So be that, okay. Then comes authenticity, nothing can beat it. You have to be genuine. Authenticity builds trust and fosters deeper connections with your audience. Remember that always, okay? So let your true self shine through in your training sessions. You know, you have to be extremely genuine. So now when you focus on these qualities and skills, you will not only become an effective trainer, but you will also become a guiding light you know, of inspiration for those you teach. So you have to embrace this journey with passion, dedication, and you will create lasting, positive, transformational lives. And the world needs you. World needs your unique talents and perspectives. So start developing them today and step into the impactful role you are destined to fulfill. And you're finding any challenge in, you know, learning it with depth, so you can join Personal Mastery's Emotional Intelligence Coach and train the trainer certification program. We'll teach you all that no one else will teach you. So yes, this is what we require as a trainer. 
And thank you for asking this. I again loved answering this question. See you soon. Thank you.